Yo, what's good people? Today I'm going to be talking about why I think the SOCD change um, that recently happened is a bit broken for Tekken. So as you can see, we're on the Hitbox website, shout out Hitbox. What they changed is they changed pressing down and then pressing up equals neutral. So previously, up would always override down. So for example, this was a problem for charge characters specifically. Um, so you would hold down back, you would press up or yeah, you would press up plus uh, an input. And in Guile's case, it's flash kick. So you would hold down back. So I, I have my hand cam at the bottom. So you would hold down back. So as you can see on the screen as well, there's like a an overlay so you can see what I'm pressing more clearly. So I'm holding down back so they they the buttons will appear white when I'm pressing them. So this is down back. So this is down back. So I'm holding down back. And previously, all you needed to do to do, to to get a flash kick was and this is the up button. So is down back, hold down back, press up and then let's say for example medium kick so you get a medium flash kick. So you would press up plus medium kick and that would be a flash kick. But as you can see if I'm pressing up now, um down is is no longer being pressed which means that's neutral so if i press so if i press up if i press down that's neutral now that's the change so they changed the socd cleaning to work in a way where it works the same as forward and back so forward and back always had that property where you you held back you press forward it's neutral so that's why you could do dashes like this so you would press forward neutral and then it would register another forward so that's a dash or so forward forward is a dash right so you could do instant dashes so forward tap back forward that's a dash so i'm going to show you why i think this is a problem now for tekken because previously this was fine for tekken you know everyone got used to this in tekken it was more of a problem in 2d games um street fighter is, is an example here but in tekken this new change this um down back neutral is a problem and i'm going to show you i'm good let's let's jump into tekken okay so now we're in tekken so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you why this um new change is really stupid for tekken so typically uh some characters have really difficult um strings that you you can duck and punch them but they're really difficult take kunimitsu 222 for example 222 and the, the the problem with this is okay yes you can duck the third hit but she has a fourth hit which is annoying to deal with and she also has she actually has stance from 2-2 stuff like this so it can be very very annoying to deal with and this by itself is hard to duck and launch anyway duck punish i don't i actually don't think it's duck launchable i'm not sure but you can definitely do you can definitely interrupt the fourth hit with a, a while standing four or something like that so i'm going to record that um right okay so I'm gonna try and duck, duck punish it with like a while standing four, um, just normally, and I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Like I, I literally can't. I'm trying my best to do it, and I'm getting counter hit, and this is a problem. Do you see what I mean? Okay, that I, I had to really, really counter hit. Okay, so now. The reason why this is silly for Tekken is because you can hold down back and you can... So pressing up um, will, will, will give neutral. Well, in this case, back because I'm pressing um, down back and then I'm pressing up, which cancels the down. So the, the only input left in that sequence is back. So let's say, for example, I'm holding down. Pressing up is neutral. He's just standing there. Um, so what I figured out is you can press um, you can press up plus direction uh, uh, plus input. So if you press like... Up plus four you'll get a while standing four and that's minimal while standing frames so of course it takes time for me to go from down back to neutral and then press four that was three four and i'm human i'm not a robot so i can't do it perfectly every time so i'm there's gonna be fluctuations in frame and and, and start of frames and stuff like that with this there's no there's no um fluctuation with frames it's always perfect it's always just frame. See what I mean? So now if I try to duck. It's perfect. Perfect. Look how quick that is. Okay, messed it up. 
insane. I can even do like I'm I'm even quick enough to do flash dog while standing one plus two. That's insane. Do you do you do you guys realize what this means for like defense? It's insane. So this is just a quick video showing you why I think this is 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 a really um problematic change for Tekken. Even though it nerfs to the inputs and stuff like that, um it really is uh you know it, it it really is a problem because you can do while standing moves literally instantly there's no wait time so that makes combos like for example if we switch to lucky chloe i know that one of her harder combos is hop kick down forward one and then while standing two string which is the, her screw attack so if, if we pick lucky chloe so i'm gonna try and do it normally i'm gonna try and do it normally so it's it's harder to do normally See, it's not comboing and I'm, tr I'm literally trying to do it I'm just going to do down the, the wall standing 2 for now just, just to show you that it's there we go first try and I didn't even no practice nothing again see what I mean so it makes even co stapling uh, more difficult combos easier because there's really no wait time there's no wait time from down back to neutral to four while standing four. Um, you can just press up plus two or up plus up plus four. It's just insane. So quick video. It's it's nearing six minutes. Um, yeah, just wanted to bring awareness to this. And um, I was playing around with this yesterday and I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, I just wanted to kind of bring attention to this um, new technique. This was not possible before in the old one because previously what would happen is you would you would get um you would get something like this or something like something yeah like a a, a jump back or if it's like two but she have a up, up back two yeah you would get that it wouldn't it wouldn't do you wouldn't get a while standing and this is really really important now one thing to note is that you can't do a uh, full crouch moves from it because it's just not going to work. Because full crouch moves, you have to press down. Be in full crouch and then press forward. So down forward. So be in full crouch, press down forward two or whatever. I think that's her full crouch down forward two. So you can't press this because remember, you need a down forward. So if you're pressing up, that cancels down. So you, now you're just going to get forward. But obviously from from full crouch that's not you can't do that so it will give you a while standing too so just something to keep in mind i saw some people on twitter saying oh like you know i'm going to use it for lily's full crouch down forward one or something it just doesn't work